Hey guys, welcome back to Cajun Hard Talk. I'm Jake. And Ross. Today we're talking about 1980s Motel Hell. Yay. So grab a beer, grab a cup of coffee, let's talk horror. All right, Motel Hell. Motel Hell. Uh, looking at a runtime of one hour and 41 minutes. Yep. Made on a budget of $3 million. And made it's a annoying. worldwide gross of $6.3 million. I'm amazed that they had the budget that they actually did. Uh, that, uh, you got to look at a lot of prosthetics they made, especially the background, like in the, in the meat processing plant and shit yeah, like that. I guess so. I guess it that kind of adds up. Plus cars. I mean, they did wreck that cop car and all that. I get that. Yeah. It's still a lot of men, especially in like the, in the eighties. Yeah, that's kind of high. Um, yeah. Cast wise, you're looking at Rory Calhoun played Vincent Smith, Paul Link played Bruce Smith, Nancy Parsons played Ida Smith, Nina Axelrod played Terry, mm-hmm. Wolfman Jack played Reverend Billy. Yeah, he did. Uh, Elaine Joyce played Edith Olson, Dick Curtis played Guy Robert. That okay. guy's weird. You're right. A little bit. Monique St. Pierre played Debbie. Rose, uh, yeah, Roseanne Catton played Susie. And mm. Everett Creech played Bo Talensky. Ooh. All right, plot, guys. Uh, Bo. Got uh, the Smiths, Ada, and um, Vincent. And Vincent, brother and sister. Uh, Vincent is world famous for his smoked meats. Yep. And they also own a small motel. Motel, which he- you soon find Motel out. Motel Hello, apparently. Yeah, Motel Hello. Still not the greatest name for a hotel. Yeah, it's still like an odd fucking name for it. But the O keeps flickering out, and it just yeah, says Motel, Motel Hell. Motel Hell, which and we get the symbolism behind yeah. it. But it's really funny to have a, a hotel, a motel named Motel Hello. But what you quickly find out is his secret ingredient. Dun dun dun. Is human flesh. Human flesh. Um, I'm telling you, this is the zombie uh, Rob Zombie version of. Uh, 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 Sweeney Todd. Yes. I'll tell you, if Sweeney Todd was written and directed by Rob Zombie, this, this is what it would. Hillbillies that cook people. In a musical, though. It, well, Sweeney yeah, Todd's a musical. If it would have been a musical. This should have been a musical. I'm glad it was not a musical. I would have loved to the, see this the be a musical. The music that they picked for this movie, do you remember the first song you heard? The not first song him. you heard, the beginning lyric says, uh, you're eating out my heart and soul. <laughs> that was the first <laughs> lyric I heard that played on this fucking movie. Hey, look, we've all been in a bar. It's close to closing time. Yeah. You got to throw some lines out there. I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you dribble and you shoot. You hope for the it. best. I mean, That's what the it. fuck else you gonna yeah. do? You might as well. Works a hundred percent of the time, forty percent of the time. Yeah. Some shit like that. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. But yeah, so he's he's uh, he's cooking people. Yeah, he's cooking people. Yeah, he uh, he's cooking all this, especially these bitches. He keeps chopping up the motel. He's making thought jerky. Is what's happening in this movie. That's, that's what that is. I didn't think about that. He's but making thought jerky. Thought jer- jerky. I like that. So. As it opens up, you see Thought links. I fucked up. Oh. Thought links. That should have been, yeah, I missed that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I like that. He, uh, he's going hunting. <laughs> yeah, that's what he says. Or well, the, he, I mean, he is. He yeah. Really, he really is. With a shotgun with a 20-inch barrel on it. I mean, he's Elmer Fudd. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Got that pump action double barrel? Hell yeah. Yeah. So I'm surprised they have a magazine in that motherfucker. <laughs> Got a banana clip on that bitch. Gets out there. And uh, shoots out the tires on this uh, motorcycle with a fucking sidecar. Uh, yeah. But yet she's riding on the back. You know what? Movie logic. That's the only you have to ascribe that to movie logic because there's really no legitimate reason for her to be riding yeah. in the position that she's riding so, in. But of course, you know, she is. And you immediately find out that she's going to be important by the fact that she rides up front. Yeah. Is, they make that distinguish right off the fucking bat where he doesn't throw her in the back of the truck with uh with the, with the guy, guy. with the bow, bow, thank old you, bow, old bow. He seems like a bow should live around there somewhere. Yeah, it absolutely seems. So yeah. then they go and he brings his bitch in, and uh, they he tells who you find out is a sister, Ida, that they bring it to the grandma's room or granny's room or whatever the hell he says. Yeah, because pretty, he's pretty much falling in love with this girl immediately. Because just like some fucking backwoods Romeo and Juliet. Look, bullshit. you spend all day looking at Ida. 
Yeah, I mean, Terry's a freaking ten. I guess so. This is like some Grimm's version fairy tale of a bitch in a coma. Yeah, yeah, Sleeping Beauty, my ass. So they bring her, drop her in the fucking bed. Ida comes over, touches her wrist, puts her head on her tits, and says, "Ah, she'll live because yeah. she's a fucking doctor." <laughs> Hey, she does great with the hogs. She does. She does amazing stitching. She's, yeah. She does amazing stitching. Yeah. She's a great vet. I mean, we're all yeah. animals in the end. And then, and so when we fast forward and Vincent starts, uh, they move to the next scene where they're kind of introducing his famous uh, smoked meat and shit. Yeah. I thought it was amazingly interesting in the fact that he uh, had a whole sample box for two ninety five. Because what struck me as odd, now I'm going to go off on a tangent on this for just a second. Okay. What struck me as odd of this is because you're selling an entire, something that today would probably be like $20, $30 worth of a sample pack. Okay. Okay. So later on, we meet these two girls who come back and say that they made $1,500 in two days. You remember the two ladies later on in the yeah. fucking film? They made $1,500 in two days. That is a lot of Johns. <laughs> That's a lot of Johns. <laughs> This man's selling human flesh for less than right. five cents a pound, and these bitches made $1,500. Vincent's fucking up. Right. Just saying. You're in the wrong business. Yep. Getting the wrong, money. You're getting the wrong price for your meat. <laughs> uh, I, just, I was like, two ninety five for that? Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can't buy you a hooker in the 80s. Yeah. I made $20.25. <laughs> Who, Who gave you 25 cents? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Shit. So, and, oh, God. The fucking uh, the creepy shining girls. Yes. The creepy shining girls that are walking through, and of course, you see the fucking pig mask come out. <laughs> That's not the best part of that scene. The best part of that scene is Vincent walking out saying, don't worry, I'm going to calm him down. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> and he shut up. <laughs> it's pure catatonic. I don't know what the it fuck happened. It was really catatonic. He's like, oh, And the parents shit. were just fine with it. Nobody said anything about that. He yeah. screamed at their children to calm him down, and everybody was like, yeah, fuck yeah, it, whatever. It, they it shut works. up. Good job. It works. Don't make me call Mr. Vincent. You better calm down. Um. Oh man! Ah, calm you bitches down. Okay, I got a question. You have a question. Okay. I have lots of questions watching this movie. Right, right. The scene where uh, he's got the cardboard cutouts of the cows in the road. Oh yeah, with the hookers, with the the, the girls that yeah. made fifteen hundred dollars in two days. Yeah. Who the fuck stopping for that? Not just that. Who thinks it's real? Why cows? is he wearing a mask? That's a good question. He gasses her, but he's wearing a mask. That's a very good question. I didn't even think it's about that. It's in a fucking confined mask that he puts on her face. Uh, maybe. Was it a gas? Was, was, was it, it the he, Was it face? just his fucking breath that he was breathing into that mask and knocked her ass out? That's some potent ass shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was a, a concealment of the face issue. I don't. But why the gas why? mask though? You could wear. You could have wore a big mask. Yeah. If it was a concealment of the face. You could have just wore a fucking ski mask or a pair of Ida's big ass pantyhose. I mean, he could have took a pick out of some shit that's also from the '80s and put a burlap sack with a fucking hole in it. Thank I mean, you, you did. Oh, you need only a, need one hole. You didn't need a gas mask. Yeah, I I couldn't figure that out. Can we not figure why it's? I know that the sheriff is your brother but in what world is it cool to just bury motherfuckers yeah even in the 80s yeah well they kind of explain that that uh okay. we, we smoked all kinds of stuff up here yeah yeah i guess but even still nobody that didn't ring alarm bells yeah. to anybody okay I and mean, i've heard of stockholm syndrome yeah dude that's but this of, chick falling in love with this old that, ass that man. is one of my fucking notes i, was like, she I kept have, thinking of big daddy she old doesn't have balls. daddy issues she has granddaddy issues <laughs> yeah. so like this bitch is going all the way who falls in love with anybody in a couple of days, yeah. let alone somebody who could be your grandfather. Yeah, and let alone, let alone someone who just buried the guy you were with yeah. and didn't even ask anyone. No, that's really the whole fucking situation. I mean, technically he didn't bury, but she thinks, no, he, she thinks that he did. Yeah, it, best case scenario. Best case scenario, he, he just buried, buried this motherfucker, guy. and I'm going to marry him. Yes, in like a week. She was like, oh, well, I mean, my fiance is gone. I'll take what I can get. Yeah. I, I, she wasn't, you know, unattractive. She could have found somebody else. She didn't need to go with Vincent. Right. I'm just saying. I don't get it. I, this this movie had a lot of uh, reminiscence of um, misery. Yeah, it I made see me that. think a lot of misery because of the Stockholm syndrome thing. It was one of the notes I put down because of. I'll tell you about the creepy big chick. Well, that too. The, she she kind of reminded me of Kathy Bates at points. Yeah, there were moments in there where she had that psych, that psychotic look, and that some of the things she did were just way fucking over the top. Dude, it, how creepy? Okay, look. It's sad when Bruce is the best person in his family. Yeah. That dude was a fucking creeper, man. A creeper? I'm, no means no, bro. That one of my notes right here, the top one says, we're just going to ignore the fact that she was that he was about to rape her? Yes, in the car. In the car. What the fuck? What are, <sighs> Although, I do like the scene. I like this, the idea of him pulling up, and it, it was too crowded up there, so he throws his fucking lights on yeah, and, was, and everybody get the hell out of it. That was pretty cool. Fucking police ass. That shit yeah. was funny, though. It was, but... 
Why would you bring somebody to a place to see a drive-in movie where you have to look at the movie through binoculars? Because evidently this is something that people do. It's kind of like a uh, make-out point kind of thing. I, yeah, I guess, but you're in a fucking sheriff's cop car. So? Eh, that uh, just seemed a little like, Jesus Christ. You want to go somewhere out of the way, do the business. He, he, he thinks he's got game, bro. He's trying to get him some. I mean, more power to you, I guess. I mean, you ain't got shit on Vincent, apparently. It's, like it's kind of like the thing on Killer Clowns. Okay. What are all at the beginning of Killer Clowns? Yeah, the, the make out point. it's even better because you can still see the drive-in movie. Uh, okay, you have a point there. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ivan and the Terribles, which is a great name for a band. Oh, no, 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 no. We're yeah. not going there yet. Oh, we're not going there no, yet? No, no. We're, we're gonna... back to the fucking woman running from Vincent in the car. Is she fucking narcoleptic? Oh, I don't know. Was she just suddenly just yeah, I, fucking done? I don't know. What, I, I don't, don't know what the fuck happened there. It's like somebody shot her with a fucking trank dart. I don't know. This bitch loses consciousness more in this fucking movie than most of Bill Cosby's career. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, no, his wasn't that fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, Bill Cosby had that fucking talent. Yeah. <laughs> Might be in a different yeah. world right yeah. now. Oh, I'm sure they, some of his victims know how she felt. Oh, I'm sure she they suddenly fell did. asleep, woke up not being on the screen. Yeah. And then a uh, couple of times, in the fucking, once in a fucking blanket on a bed. Yeah. Uh, a towel. She had just gotten out of the shower and they, they fucking dropped that shit in her fucking drink. Yeah. The champagne. Yeah. Well, that's not the same girl, though. What I'm talking about the hooker. Oh, the hooker bitch. I thought you were talking about your girl who kept falling asleep with the... No. What's her name? Terry. I'm talking about the hooker that's running from Vincent in the car. <laughs> oh. And she just passes the fuck out and the car goes in the bayou. Uh, I mean... Or in the pond. Sorry. I think... About, oh, r- I, r- Louisiana. South Louisiana. South Louisiana. Louisiana. I think it's, it's implied that she hit her head when he bumped her or something. No. It's some kind no. of... It, she never touches anything. She's like this and does. You don't know. She probably... She might have... She might have touched her head this way, and then they cut. I don't know. Bad editing. Let's let's chalk that up to bad editing. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Crack is bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, shit. We've seen we've seen worse kills. Not many, but they're they're there. Okay. <laughs> so, um, okay, you want to go to, the, to Ivan and the Terribles? Ivan and the Terribles. I thought it was an, that was an amazing name for a band. Yes. Completely. Yeah. I'd go watch that man. That's one of those bands you get. You I go would. to like some stupid ass bar and just get stupid drunk, and get in a fist fight. Yeah, absolutely. That's mosh pit music right yeah. there, sir. That is like some yeah. 80s, let's go fucking throw down type of music. Can we hurry up and get to the swingers? This way. <laughs> we, How slow is the fucking swinger we scene? Can't, hang on, I have to uh, I have to go a little bit over my notes, but sure. How slow is the fucking swinger scene in this fucking area? Yeah, uh, we're talking that about... This is the place to be. Indiana Jones and the death of the dominatrix in the <laughs> motel room. This bitch... Throws a whip around your boy's neck, pulls him to her, and he is wearing a dress. Yes. A, uh, uh, a plastic, a clear, a clear a plastic clear dress. A clear plastic dress. Not with even a dress. I wouldn't call it a dress or a skirt. It's, it's like a, a tutu. Yeah, I guess you're. Because it was all like a one piece type of thing. Yeah, this is, this it was is fucking way, weird, dude. Uh, and then they were all about Vince and I to come and get them some. The, I blame this movie for rompers. <laughs> like, I immediately, I saw this shit. I'm like, fuck this movie. What is going on in here? <laughs> now, on a personal note, you know what this reminded me of? What? That guy we saw in that parking lot one time? The guy in the parking lot. You don't remember? I'm trying to remember now. Middle of the day? How drunk was I? Oh, shit. The guy with the whip. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. quick story. Not telling y'all where it was think, at. I was trying to think of a gentleman but, wearing a fucking dress. Yeah. We were talking about the jackass that we were driving to lunch one day. Yeah. Me, Ross, and a couple of friends are driving to, to lunch and see this guy in the middle of a fucking parking lot at 11 o'clock in the morning cracking a bull whip in a parking lot in a parking lot why midday mid fucking day in i know front of God, in front I, of a four lane i know covid was still going on at this time but yeah. you're not that goddamn bored like find something else to do <laughs> right. why are you in a parking lot with a whip indiana jones in the crackhead of doom and you think that that's okay and he's yeah. just chilling yeah. you have nothing better to do at 11 o'clock i thought of that right away i didn't even think about that but you're right that's fucking hilarious so did you get a <laughs> chuckle out of the fact that he's gonna teach her the ancient art of meat smoking yes i laughed <laughs> I laughed. I was like, this fucking dude. I, that's not what he meant, but I thought what you were thinking. Yeah, you know exactly what the fuck I thought. Now that I've yeah, sweetie, up. don't worry. <laughs> we'll get married and we'll teach you how to smoke meat. This motherfucker. Oh, how about the uh, before they even get to the fucking room where we start the dominatrix shit, when they first meet Terry and the creepy sheriff who does another creepy thing in front of the fucking couple. Yeah, when well, he's trying to kiss her and shit. He's still trying to kiss her and shit. All this creepy shit. That's a fucking how weird dude. How uh, about little Miss Dominatrix talk about invite your daughter? Yeah. Like, bro, you're so horny, you're missing some serious red flags going on. There's a sheriff covered in mud. 
There's a large woman that came out and said she's been listening to a police scanner. Yeah. And a nonchalant dude who keeps making creepy comments in a fucking bathrobe. Yep. And everybody's just like, yeah, buddy, with, we're going to get with, a most overalls room. underneath. We're going to, yeah, he had overalls underneath his fucking bathroom. Yeah. And we're just going, oh, buddy, we're going to have some sex tonight. <sighs> I'm going to tie you to the bed. What's that, mud? Don't worry about that shit. Yeah. The, the, they bring the gas on. It's like, oh, nitrous oxide. What was going on in the 80s? What the fuck? What happened in the 80s? <laughs> People think that 2020 is weird. What the fuck happened yeah, in the 80s? Yeah, apparently shit got crazy. Jesus Christ. I don't Because th- to them, that was just normal. They were that excited. Sh- that should not be normal to anybody, but it was very normal. <laughs> How about we don't need to check you in? Just go to a room. You have to go to a room. It's Fuck fine. It. And he's like, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's fucking insane, man. And then Vincent and Ida show up, and then all the... Oh, good God. They willingly let themselves be tied up. <laughs> yeah. Willingly. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to be fun. They're excited. <laughs> They're excited about getting high. <laughs> oh man, it's so bad. I don't know how you miss all those red flags. Oh dude. <laughs> that that couple was just thirsty as fuck, dude. The thirst was heavy. Heavy. Oh my god. That I, I think I think uh had that been any different motel, some other weird shit would have been going on right? right there. And look, I just hope when I'm that I'm his age, some random chick is laying naked in bed and just randomly pulls her fucking Covers off and wants yeah, to scream me like yeah. that. She was like, hey, it's cool. And he's trying to be a gentleman, which, what the? <laughs> you, look, you've, you've already killed her old man. Or you're planning uh, to. You're killing her fucking her old man, her fiance, her boyfriend, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, you've fallen in love with this girl. So she's. But we draw the line at seeing she's, her naked. She's throwing herself at you. I'm going to stop now. Yeah. You just buried two hookers alive. A, a premarital sex isn't even one of the Ten Commandments. Am I wrong? <laughs> Murder's up there. <laughs> Murder somewhere up there. I'm pretty sure thou shalt not eat their neighbor should be up there too, that, but it's not. That shouldn't. I, I think God, when he was giving that shit to Moses, he was like, I don't need to say it. They, they should they understand should this. Know they that, should right? know this. Yeah. They're not going to do that. Why would they do that? And, and look, we're not putting that one on there. Also, don't worry about the, don't let people tie you up and give you gas. That should be known too. Yeah. Like <laughs> their parents are going to teach them that. Yeah. You would think. But their parents are too busy buying love, fat love, jerky and letting some old farmer yell at their children. I love the brother's reaction to finding out that she's going to marry Vincent. You, 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 you blame him? <laughs> this pecker doesn't even work. <laughs> well, Wolfman Jack in this creepy ass fucking. With the hustler. Give me the magazine. No. So father. I can dispose of it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. How weird is that his sister's looking at the same magazine when he gets home? I, you caught that too. I thought the same thing. He, and then he yells at her and calls her a pervert. Thank you. What is going on in the 80s? <laughs> What the fuck is going on? I wish I could pull a Wolfman Jack on my fucking, my, my parents when I was fucking young. Like, is this yours? Like, no, but give it to me so I can throw it away. Right. I need to p- dispose of it properly. So, you know, how about the scene where they're in the garden? Because you find out they have the secret garden. Well, yeah, with all the fucking, buried alive. The, uh, the human radishes. Yeah. Well, he's like, you know, I sometimes wonder about the karmic implications of all this. You think? <laughs> Karma's a bitch, bro. Karma's a motherfucker. Yeah, you know how bad karma is? You're about to get chainsawed wearing a pig's head. Which, how did you see? <laughs> Was he looking through the nose? I don't know. You're, I don't know. If you get a chainsaw, you don't want to be blind, right? <laughs> like that's typically, that, that should be another unspoken rule of life. So, so let's talk about the reasoning behind them doing this. Okay. The, according to them, there are two problems in the world. Overpopulation and, and a lack of and food. And a lack of food. Hey, two birds with one two stone. Two birds, one My stone. My dog. Gotcha. Yeah. That, two that's two birds, plan. one bear trap. Yeah. Which, okay. by the way, a fucking bear trap is not going to pop a tire. This is Stephen King's Thanos. <laughs> I, that's what this is. Like, no we're going to we're gonna fucking eliminate people, but we're going to feed them to the rest of the people. Yeah, they, they want up Thanos. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, did they? Yeah. Thanos okay, was like, now nah, we're going to throw the dust. They're like, wait, we could take that dust and make instant mashed potatoes with them. Okay. So, all right. I know we're, we're jumping around a lot if you haven't seen this movie. It's. I, it's, it's worth the you watch. You shouldn't be watching this anyway. Yeah, you, you shouldn't haven't be watched it. watching this anyway. Y'all know okay. this. Is, we do, all we do is spoil reviews. Little so. Miss Ida, the, uh, the Kathy Bates wannabe. Uh, I gotta love the uh, the creepiness of the nonchalant whistling and singing while she's randomly murdering people. Yeah. It's very, like, it's so casual. Who like, taught them how to I remove just, fucking just, vocal cords? I just do this. I don't know, but that brought me to a really interesting thought at the end of the movie. They found a way to create live zombies. Yeah. With the yeah. growling and, and the... Oh. Supposedly, that was actually uh, the intent. It Dude. was kind of like a spoof on zombie flicks. Oh, God. It was, it was fucking great. 
Yeah. Oh, we passed over the fucking line. She's like, no wonder you're famous. How come I've never heard of you? Those two things should not be said back to back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's go tubing. Yeah. What the fuck was that about? Well, first off, I'm not complaining. No, but, but does why, she not why, own a bra? Does she not own any? There was no bathing suit or something else she could have wore. Like that was Besides just a, a white. That t-shirt? was a wet t-shirt contest. That's all it was. And she won. I, I thank you, Ida, for wearing black. Yeah, black. Uh, yeah, we, we, we appreciate oh. that. Yeah, we that, that would have took a full. We know you've done movie. fucked up things, like you, y'all smoked the dog and ate it. But yeah. I'm glad you wore a black shirt. And we're, and f- we're happy fucked. to talk about it. It. Ra- why are you talking about this as random people? Even the people, the family in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre only talked about it with each other. <laughs> they didn't broadcast that shit like, you know what we did once? We had a family dog that wouldn't shut up, so we killed that some bitch and we, we ate smoked it, it. And we fed it to her. <laughs> and she loved it. She loved it. And uh, fucking Ida's like, you know the secret ingredient in this? So he punches her and she burps. Which, uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> I'm not sure if this movie knew what it wanted to be. It's like a Tickle Me Elmo, but not. <laughs> it's like, you know what it is? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it, well, this movie does not know what it wants to be. <laughs> oh, God fuck you. Bless. So, apparently, okay, um, dog does not taste that great. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't imagine. You're a Vietnamese. What do you think? Well, I've never had it. <laughs> okay. But the Vietnamese still do eat it for Chinese New Year. I know. It's actually, I mean. Yeah. But I, I, the problem is I haven't met. I've even made some calls. I don't I haven't met anyone who's had it. Even the Vietnamese side of my family, I can't speak to it because it's, it's northern Vietnamese thing. Okay. Apparently, like a Hanoi in, in the northern area. South Vietnamese apparently don't practice it as much. You still have people that do it, just not as many. Not as much. Um, kind of South uh, Louisiana. Interesting resource. Everything over here. An interesting resource I had to go to for this. Um, the Meat Eater podcast. Oh. Uh, I was thinking about that. Steve Ronella. Yeah. Um, they shot a coyote. That'd probably be about the closest comparison. Yeah, he ate a dog. He, he has eaten dog. He did a, a whole uh, series of shows in um, Vietnam. He stayed in Hanoi for Chinese New Year just to try it, just for that sole purpose of trying it. Yeah. And he said he can't remember how it tasted. Uh, so it wasn't memorable. Because, like he said, well, it, because of inside in his head, it was just wrong. So, like he said, yeah. it, it was like it turned to ash in his mouth. Well, because he, perception is everything. Perception is everything. But I watched the episode where he ate the dog, the coyote. And to him, he said it tastes like a diver duck. Now, if anybody has ever had like a, a, um, a teal or like a trash duck, they call them. Yeah. They taste like the meat's really dark and it tastes almost like a liver quality. Did, did you see the, uh, the media episode with Steve Ranella where he ate the, uh, the monkey? Yes. In the, yes. So he would probably have the closest comparison as to what fucking thought jerky would taste no, like. No shit. I never thought about he that. He would have the closest comparison. We need to talk to Steve Ranella. We need to call Steve Ranella and ask what the possibilities of thought yeah, jerky look, would be. We don't, we don't get anything from them. And he's, a, he's way out of our fucking league. Oh, but God. Look, yeah. guys, if y'all haven't checked out his show yet, that's some crazy shit. He eats all kinds of stuff. Yeah, well, show. we're definitely not affiliated, but we are huge fucking fans. Yeah, we are. So, yeah, I went into that kind of rabbit hole looking for. Um, yeah. Um, what that would have tasted like. Okay, so uh, we're getting down to like the, the climax of it where, you know, we already touched on the fact where he figures out oh, that... Oh, I actually had a note that said, how in the fuck can he see in that pig's head? Yeah, that's one of mine way down to the fucking bottom. Uh, he finds out that, uh, that Vincent is going to marry yeah. uh, Terry. And then he goes with the his dick doesn't work shit and all that joking crap. He also and says, then suddenly turns into fucking Sherlock Holmes. He says the law won't allow it and he has syphilis of the brain. And then he goes into detective mode, which you're a really shitty cop if you haven't noticed 300 fucking cars. In a, in a fucking in lake. A, in a in lake. In a pond. It's, it's, not, yeah, it's lake. not even a fucking big enough to be called a lake. That's like a marshy and area. And it's not like it was a deep pond. Not just that. You can see it. Vincent never got rid of the fucking bike. The bike was still there. <laughs> He went and dug the bullets out of the bike. Well, you wouldn't, though, because he had no reason to because he had, a, he had evidence of where both of them went. Now, if you need people to disappear, then you get rid of the vehicle. There's a bullet in the tire. Because <laughs> he knows who's the fucking sheriff. I mean, I, I guess so. I guess he just Marty figures... Fife ain't getting out of his way to go I, fucking find a bullet. I guess that his... He just assumes his little brother's going to be like, okay, my brother's good. He wouldn't lie yeah. to me. He wouldn't cut up bitches. So and make manwich. Um, uh, old Brucey, <laughs> old Brucey <laughs> gets pissed off and finds all this evidence out. So he's gonna go tell her about it, and, and, and he does so in the worst fucking way. Yeah, just because here's the thing: you already almost raped this woman. <laughs> yes, that was a thing that happened. So you find her drug and you wake her up. Yeah, to tell her about after this she shit. didn't notice that her drink turned green. Yeah, wake her up, tell her about all the shit. And actually, then, actually, actually, you're jumping ahead, sir. Oh, that is not correct. When he first finds out that um, 
she is that Terry is going to marry Vincent. He barges in on her in a fucking bathtub. Oh yeah. I forgot he about walks that. in and, and Ida's like, oh, she's taking a bath. So he yeah, breaks gotta, down the fucking door. I got to give it to Vincent, though. Vince was a badass in that scene. Yeah, he was. Walks what? him out at the end of that fucking shotgun. Hey, brother or not, you shot at the sheriff. Yeah, but eat a dick. You're in my fucking house threatening my uh, fucking my fiance. Trust me. I get it. Look, dude didn't have a fucking warrant. He busted the fucking house. All that was crazy shit. He's still the sheriff of that town. Yeah. Fuck you. You're in my house. And you're not welcome. Uh, uh, you've no. been told to leave and you won't. I'm agreeing with Vincent for shooting at him. I'm yeah. saying, why the fuck did the sheriff not shoot back? Yeah, that was the thing that kind of got me. Yeah, that's touchy, I guess. It's, it's kind of touch and go because, like, he he even said he didn't have a fucking warrant and shit. But what? Well, you can't knock on the door and be like, "Hey, can you dry off? I need to speak with you." Right? <laughs> just just kick the fucking door in. I'm gonna run in this motherfucker and touch you while, while you're, you're naked. naked. <laughs> Because I'm not creepy. Because I'm... Uh, look, look, look. Boom. My brother's the creepy guy, I promise. Right. As you're in the bathroom yelling. You know, so he finds out, anyways, that his brother's fucking killing people and cooking them. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. So he calls in at some point to the sheriff's office to find yeah. out where this car is at. Yeah. Is this fucking Mayberry? Apparently. How many cops do they have in the fucking police force here? Both because you think if you find out your fucking brother and sister are cannibals, you're calling fucking backup in. I, I would. I would imagine that I would. Maybe this is like the town in fucking... Uh, yeah, it was, know, uh, like Andy and fucking Opie were fishing. <laughs> I'm thinking Texas Chainsaw Massacre where the dad, she was like, well, goddamn, I just shot the whole sheriff's office. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. That's true. Yeah, all the yeah. both of them. Fuck. And, Andy and Opie went fucking fishing. Yeah. So they're skipping rocks and shit. Yeah. So it's just Barney holding down the fucking town <laughs> being creepy and shit. Yeah. <laughs> creepy as a motherfucker. Gee, golly, Andy. I, I didn't hear her say no. I promise. <laughs> oh, God. What's, what's, what's fucking Barney Fife's real name? I'm Don Knotts. Play. Don Knotts. Thank you. I'm going crazy. Fucking Don Knotts finally got a chance to break into a fucking bathroom where he heard something weird. Yeah. Hey, Let me talk to you. I'm going to touch you when you're in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> get so, up. Get up. So he breaks, uh, he, he, he gets beat the fuck up by Ida. Yeah. What? Look, Ida's a bad bitch though. Cause she beat a bunch of fucking zombies before they overpowered her. Okay. Those zombies were like calves that were being ready for Ville. Yeah. Like true. they were, they were yeah, fucking they were pretty weak. They were weakened. They were all that shit. Now, however, I'm not saying that Ida was a big bitch. She probably could have took yeah. him down and sat on him or something. But the way she took him down wouldn't have incapacitated him for the amount of time that he was down. down. It would not have incapacitated right, at all. Not for that period of time. To the fact where she took his gun, she took her, she went to the fucking place, she came back. Like, it wouldn't have fucking taken yeah. him that long to wake the fuck up because she hit him. It in, took the zombies less time to dig themselves out. Which, by the way, it would have that would have been easier done when they were first planted. I guess. <laughs> No, I think what they're trying to say is about pulling the the the, the, um, the other ones they, out. They loosen the soil. The rest of them, yeah. Because okay. that's what I was thinking. Like it would have been easier when the soil was a little bit loose. But once it started packing and yeah. shit, you ain't getting out of that shit. So by this point, Vincent's got uh, Terry tied up to a fucking conveyor belt. That's about to slice her yeah, like he fucking fucking like Doctor like Evil roast this beef, bitch. Yeah. And so surprisingly, Bruce, he kept his clothes on. I was really waiting for, yeah, for him to start. I, I really was. I thought it was going to, he's going to be in a fucking pig mask and just cut all our fucking. So clothes Bruce off. breaks down the door like fucking Captain America. Yeah. Which, and here comes geez. Vincent with a fucking pig's head on and the biggest fucking chainsaw I've ever seen in my life. And as, as this is going on, you know, Leatherface is sitting at home going, Oh, why don't you get me one? Yeah. yeah I, th- I made the same Leatherface fucking. <laughs> yeah, Leatherface like, oh shit. 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 I need to upgrade. Yeah. This was, uh, this was, Six years after Leatherface, by the way. Yeah, so, so. yeah true. Yeah. Screw you guys. Well, actually, uh, but it was before Texas Chainsaw 2 because this chainsaw fight um, yeah, is yeah, what the inspired the chainsaw days. fight in uh, Ch- uh, Texas Chainsaw 2. All right, now, before he pulls these, these three members of the uh, Ivan and the Terribles up from the ground, he decides we're going to take a little trip down to the fucking rabbit hole. And we're going to play with hypnosis. Yeah. <laughs> These bunk ass that, fucking hypno- that hypnosis That shit machines. came out of nowhere. What the fuck? I, he, I, all of a sudden, he started. I kind of wish that I, uh, dude, I they was, were tripping fucking hard, dude. I was writing a note, and all of a sudden, this motherfucker's talking about astral projection. I'm like, hold up. What? Let me back the fuck up. What happened there? He's going to send them beyond Mars. Yeah. Where they have, oh, they, where they yeah, can he had, basically, Where they have wings. Basically, he hypnotized them. To where they yeah. wouldn't feel pain when they die. Fuck you. Drug them. You have the drugs. It's cheaper to hypnotize them. It's uh, whatever. Cheaper. It's not It's not a very busy motel. Nobody's paying. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> what? Well, no, but they're getting the money off all these motherfuckers True. they're killing. True. You think they're not taking watches and shit? You didn't yeah. notice the, the glisten on Vincent Arms in one of the scenes? He has oh, a yeah. nice fucking Rolex on. So they're taking shit, but see, they go to astral projection and they put these three little fucking spiral hypnosis things and he starts talking to him and then he begins to call Ida his, uh, his captain. Yeah. It was uh, like, uh, what, oh, what fucking cult was it? Oh my, yeah, that's immediately what I started thinking of this fucking cult shit. What oh, is going what on? Oh, what cult was it, man? Fuck, I can't think of it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I know what you're talking about because I understood the reference. Oh, uh, was it, um, uh, so he's fucking telling her to... Wrap them up. So he wraps nooses around the heads of the, damn, the no, three. I'm going to fucking lose my mind the rest of the night now trying to think what the The three is. fucking turnip heads are just sticking out of the ground. He wraps nooses around these, these three band members' heads. Yeah, and apparently there's some heavy motherfuckers because the front tires of that tractor came Dude, off the ground. Dude, that bitch fucking popped a wheelie like no other. Yeah. Look, I've, I've had an eight-inch fucking auger on the back of a tractor, bigger than, a, uh, smaller than that I'm one. I'm not advocating serial killing, but wouldn't a forklift be easier? No. Why? No, because you... you, you uh, I've never used the auger on a forklift though. I've used them on a three point, like on. No, that. I'm talking about for the like, for the the raising up. If you get a forklift, put a forklift over and put the fucking nooses around the neck and just raise the bitch up. You yeah, but you don't want the, you don't want to go up. You want to go sideways. What, I don't know. I'd imagine you want. I'd imagine you want to go sideways. I'd imagine if you went up, the other ones wouldn't have had enough loose soil to get the fuck out. Yeah, true, true. Just saying, true. Fucking stupid ass serial killers. Yeah. So, you don't know shit. We're getting along here, dude. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. That's uh, what she said. Yeah. All right. So let's un- touch on the topic of let's go and clean these motherfuckers up. These guys have been on the ground for a few days now, and they've been being force fed gruel down their fucking throats. Uh, the amount of feces that would have been present is a topic. I bet you the fucking plants were oh, great there. Oh, God. That shit. That's, that is some fucking. There are so, did you imagine the worms eating on them? Oh, God, yeah. You know oh. that shit. Was going on. The worms fucking eating oh, on them. There's feces all around. Gross, they smell dude. like fucking. They're sweating their ass off because oh, they're in the fucking ground. In so the heat, the with heat. a burlap fucking sack oh, over your head. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then you know another dead body was there before you. Oh, I didn't even think about that. So you got somebody else's stank they or even stank. Have, They don't even have the decency to do that shit with the death penalty where they, they give you a clean needle. Yeah. <laughs> we're just going to use, last we're gonna use the same hole. <laughs> so, Who the fuck takes one puff of a cigarette and throws it away? This is the third video I've said this in. You're shaking the fucking camera again. Oh. Oh, yeah, I did. My bad, fellas. This is the third video I've said this in. Who lights a cigarette, takes one fucking puff, and throws it away? Yeah, I know. It happens. That, I, I hate. Please, stop doing that in movies. Can we get back to the chainsaw fight? Can we please get back to the chainsaw fight? Okay. I so, just, I, I Vince was, is whipping his fucking ass in his chainsaw fight. Yeah. With a pig's head on. Bruce he fucking sucks. He can't see. He can't even see who the fuck you are. And just cackling his ass off. Why didn't he pick the shotgun back up? I don't know. He is having the fucking time of yeah, his life. That? The maniacal laugh while he, you hear the laughing from behind the pig mask. <laughs> He's just cackling his ass off. Just having the, the time of his fucking, fucking shit life. Ever. It's the greatest fucking shit ever. He is fucking enjoying the shit out of himself. That's my, my note that wearing says his pig head. Leather Vincent. Yeah. And then it says how the fuck he sees. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so he's actually winning with the fucking shotgun. And here's the thing: it, Vincent kills himself. Yeah, he does because like, Bruce's boy- chainsaw gets stuck and Vince falls into it. Yeah, and then, and then leaves it there. Go save your girl. Cool. Yeah, Comes whatever. back and like tugs on your boy screams. I'm like, I, all I kept thinking of is Bill Murray in Zombieland. <laughs> he's like, uh, it's still tender. It's still tender. <laughs> okay, I. I love the fucking uh My whole life is a lie. Yeah, the self reflection at the end. I, I chuckled. Yeah. Cause he, he left him the, the motel on the farm. I know. And he left him all this shit and I'm like, oh fuck, he finally he's at the end of the life. He's like, Man, maybe I shouldn't have been maybe killing these bitches. Up. Maybe I fucked up. Maybe I've been an asshole. No. His life was a lie because he used preservatives. He used preservatives, guys. <laughs> he was lying to you the whole time. <laughs> That is not the freshest thought jerky in all of the South. <laughs> he was using preservatives. All organic. Yeah. <laughs> we don't use the ones that wear makeup. Free range thoughts. What are you talking about? <laughs> this we, all, one. we only take it from the cleanest clubs. Cleanest club. <laughs> he used preservatives. That was, that was his final words on earth. Yeah. I use preservatives. Considering his life, it's not bad words. Yeah, I guess. That's pretty it, profound. It could have been so much fucking worse. All God, right. it could have been so, so much worse. Um, oh, we didn't say Rotten Tomatoes rates this at 71%. It won no awards. No. Audience score was 49%. <laughs> Which, you know what? 
It was a good watch. I enjoyed watching it. Dude, it's it's a fun watch. It's one of those we don't get these anymore. Look, I'm you, telling you, you have two options now. Now in modern horror movies or just modern movies in general, you have something that's really good. Yeah. Or you get something that sucks and you'll never watch again. Yeah. Even it, some of the really good ones you never watch again. Yeah, it's really This is back in the fucking eighties in yeah. the golden age when you know what? You can get a shitty movie that you would watch regularly. And see, here was my th- my thoughts on it as I was watching this movie. The main takeaways from this movie, because the score was good. The entire time yeah. he was in the fucking shop and he was doing different things, the score, the tone, everything kind of made mellow. It had its comic relief. Mm-hmm. It had a decent story. The big takeaways you really get away is the, some of the shitty effects, some of the shitty traps, and some, some of the, the shitty dialogue. Some of the shitty dialogue. Thank you. Some of the bad dialogue. Which I, I, I hate giving. I hate talking about dialogue for older movies because well, they and, spoke so differently back then. And and that's my 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 concept is is this if this movie would have been made two years ago? Yeah, it's. Uh, it I think would, that this yeah. would be something that everybody would be making memes about. Yeah, it really Th- would. this would be something that we would be seeing all over the fucking internet. But the I way really it do. is now, the way as it is now, it's a cult classic. And it's a cult classic now because a lot of the the original who says ah nuts. Yeah. Nobody says that anymore. Well, it's like watching It 1990, the yeah. way the kids talked in the olden days. Oh, well, that, yeah, and that's exactly right. If this If this movie was made two years ago, this would be something you would be seeing yeah. a lot more frequently. Yeah. A lot more around. People are like, oh, my God, you see that movie? It's fucking crazy. Yeah. But and it's something that shouldn't be remade. No, I, and I'm not advocating for this movie to be no, remade. No, it should not be. I'm saying had it originally been made a couple of years ago, it, it probably would have got a lot more traction. Yeah. Yep, uh, I really, I really so, do feel that So, what are you way. giving score wise? I, look, I love the movie. It was a great movie. It was a good concept. It had some really original ideas. It had creative kills, which is one yep. of your big harping points. Yep. Um, was it overly gory? It was not overly gory, considering the context. Even when there wasn't a whole lot of gore, there's only a couple of moments that really stand out, and it's towards the end where there was a whole big section of yeah, gore. Yeah, uh, yeah, towards yeah. the end, that there was really super gory where it had those effects. But it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't gore for gore's sake. No, it was all. It wasn't terrifier. It was actually expositional gore. Yeah, he yep. was actually going through the process of what was going on. Why was explaining? I yep. love him when he says, "What you never? Uh, what did he say? You never skinned a bird or something? You never skinned a duck?" Yeah, and he throws a foot. Yeah, I thought it was amazing. He yeah. throws a fucking foot. He's sitting there lopping off body parts, talking about. Are like, right, you beating around the bush? Where are we going? I'm not beating around the bush. You're beating around the bush. No, he beat around the bush. He did beat around the bush. The sheriff was trying to beat around he the bush. He was trying to. Very hard. I'm actually going to go. Um, I was on a tangent having a fucking moment. I'm actually going um, high 20s. I'm going to go around the 26 area. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to jump you on this. I'm going to go 28. Just for that's, the main reason that fair. I'll watch it again. That's fair. It is. It's a it's a watchable movie. It really it is. Really, it's, truly, it's is. funny. It was meant to be funny. You can tell I, they meant it. It was. Laughs. It was meant as just some form of satire. And yeah. I really think that. But the, a lot of the creative ideas that they did have, I think, still translate and hold true till today. There's a lot of things in this movie that we've yet to see something similar to that. Yeah. You know, when's the last time you've seen fucking zombies that weren't dead? Yeah. Well, here's the thing too. This is, this was a movie that really didn't have much of a message. No, but had a plot. But it had a fucking story, though. Terrifier, I'm looking at you. Yeah, this had a fucking story. Yeah, and it had some weird fucking characters along the way. Yeah, but it had a story. But it had and a you story. got you got involved in and you and you you were rooting for characters and I, rooting. For, I was yelling at Tara like, "Bitch, what are you doing? Yeah, no, stop it!" Right, Tara. But, Tara was terrifier. Terry. Oh, Terry. I thought you said Tara. No, I might have said Tara, but Terry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was rooting for Terry, like bitch. All right, so it. I'm giving it a 28. You said a 26. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a 26. All right, guys, uh, find us on um, Facebook. Find us on Twitter. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a like on the video also. And if you find us on SoundCloud, please follow us and listen to the rest of our stuff. We got a lot of other content out there. Yep. All right, guys, we are out of here. Bye.